Fred's chimney toppling performances have always attracted a following. Pensioners, children, strange men who describe themselves as chimney enthusiasts, and citizens who in former times might have attended public hangings and now turn up in the hope of seeing a disaster. The audience has grown with his fame so that now a crowd was assembling of a size that Bolton Wanderers Football Club might have envied. There was concern that Fred should not spoil Sunday for these people by bringing down his chimney on top of them. There's no way it can fall the wrong way, you know. Uh, I mean, the bricks are really good, and we've eliminated this half of it, so it's got to go that bloody way one way or another, you know. Either. And ideally, we want it to go, you know, towards that new brickwork over there. And that's the way we've cut it to go. But square ends are awkward, and they always want to fall like square ways, you know. So we'll just have to see what happens, you know. It either, it, it'll either come dead square or it'll go over there, won't it, too, you know. Uh, I'm, what, 80% confident it'll go over there, but the other, it could, you know, go straight, but it's got to come this way. <laughs> we once did one, and we engineered it, so the borough engineer had to light the fire. And it, we wouldn't have done it on this day if Ian had been coming, and it were blowing a force 10 bloody gale towards it, you see, and, and everything went wrong. It were blowing that hard that the fire set fire to the field next door, and the, it were blowing so hard it didn't even draw. All the sticks burned away and it stayed up and it were rocking, going three foot out of plumb and coming back. Now, if anybody had said that to me, I'd have said, I don't believe you, it's impossible. Something that big could get three foot out of plumb and come back, no way. But it's as true as I bloody stand here, it were going three foot out of plumb and coming back. And in the end, we had to put a jack in the back and jack it up, you know, and it went over eventually. <laughs> well, that one at the That's it, right? Yeah, yeah. About 1950s. Yeah, around about that time. It's just the same way of doing it as you ah, look, doing it. Just, just same as what we did, but 30 years ago. Flat caps and woodbines. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Mm. 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 Well, it's all goes like that today. Yeah. There's just one thing, like, put a damper on this this morning and... Like, the fella who were my childhood hero, Harry Holden, he, he died last week, you know, they're burying him tomorrow. And, uh, you know, he was like, in my eyes, a super steeplejack. Um, God bless him, you know. So I think we'll do this in honour of Harry Holden this morning. You know. Are you right? How you doing? You've got the windproof the windproof matches. matches, yeah. Right. Are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Your knees have gone like jelly. <laughs> Your knees have gone like jelly. Yeah. No, no, it could be wrong. Uh, uh, well, we go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's what time is it now? Ten to. Oh, yeah. All right, we move back. We've got a bloody good crowd, haven't we? <laughs> run, with, run with the cat. Yeah. You won't do that, Roger. <laughs> sort of, uh, everybody comes to see a disaster, you see, and, like, there ain't going to be one, you know, I'm 100% confident. Like this bloody rag look, come on, which time we're starting. Right, time, the deadline's coming, it's going to start raining. Right, in this end, over here, you know, uh, stick it in there. Look. Right, chaps, I'll get you. That'll do now. You've done it, you've done it. Come on, everybody out now. Come on. Everybody outside. Oh, Nothing we can do now. <laughs>
Long out. I will be struggling now. It's okay, we're a good one. And you, with I had every ounce of confidence in that one. We just got it right. 